Hello everybody, Adam here once again with another JavaScript video tutorial. This lesson will show you how to apply the set attribute and remove attribute methods of JavaScript. Like usual, any code that we write in the video will be available at developphp.com and a link to it will be in this video's description text. So first we'll create an example that shows how to reduce your HTML markup by applying attributes to HTML elements using JavaScript when your document loads. So let's go into the body tag and I'm going to place three elements and they're very standard elements. Here's the H2 tag, there's the P tag and there's the A tag. So we have a link, a paragraph and a heading. And I gave each one an ID so I can communicate to this element using JavaScript. My heading has an ID value of E1, that's short for element 1. And my link has an ID of E3, that's short for element 3. So now I can go into the head tag and I can place some JavaScript. So I'll pop in my opening and closing script tags. And actually, before we go any further, let's press Control S and view this in a browser by pressing F12. Or you can go to File, Preview in Browser, whichever one you want. I'll choose Chrome. So you can see what it looks like. Now we'll apply these attributes through JavaScript. So let's make a function handle it all. So let's type in function, apply attributes, open close parentheses, open your curly brace, go down a couple of lines and close off your curly brace. What we want to occur is when the page is ready, when the document is fully loaded, we want this function called apply attributes to run to apply all the attributes that we want to our desired elements. So that being the case, we just go down one line in the JavaScript and type in window.onload is equal to apply attributes. Let's just copy that and paste it right there. Put in semicolon to break that line. So this line tells this function to run when the window is loaded. Now my first mission is to take this h2 tag and give it an attribute of a line and a value of center, which will be the equivalent of doing this. h2 space align equals center. But we want to keep that out of the HTML markup and apply it through JavaScript. Okay, so we'll type in document dot get element by ID and the ID we want to affect here is E1 so we'll put that between double quotes and close off the parentheses then for that element on the page we want to set attribute so we will type in dot set attribute and you can see set attribute looks for two arguments the name and the value so the name of the attribute and the value you want to give it so we want to put those two arguments in. So we can just put in double quotes, comma, double quotes, and then close that off and put a semicolon to break that line. Now right here I'm going to put the attribute I want, which was a line, and the value I wanted was center. Now if I was to press control S and then run this file in the browser, I'm going to get a centered H2 tag. It has an alignment set to center now. And if I comment that line out, press Control S, run it again in the browser, you'll see that it's not centered anymore. Now let's add some attributes to those other two, the paragraph and the link. So we'll just go down right here, put those two lines in. We've been doing the same thing, document.getElementById. We target the element that we want and we set attribute on it. This one I'm giving a class of some style, so I have to put that style into the CSS of my page. And keep in mind, there are other ways using JavaScript to apply CSS to a tag, but I'm just showing you how versatile this is, and this is another method you could use to apply CSS to a tag. So, if I apply a class of some style to this paragraph tag down here, that means this some style CSS should be applied to it. And I'm also targeting the E3 tag, which is my link. And I'm giving it a title attribute. And the value is navigate to my site. So let's see what all of this renders. Press Control S and preview in the browser. So you can see the style was applied to that tag, the paragraph tag. The link, if I hover over it, it now says navigate to my site because I gave it the title attribute through JavaScript. Okay, so this is a way that you can slim down your HTML markup by having your attributes and their values assigned to those HTML tags using JavaScript. So it makes your JavaScript a little bit more bulky, but it really helps in reducing your HTML markup. 
pretty much just the same way you separate out your style from your content. You separate out your CSS, don't you? That means you're making your CSS more bulky, but your HTML markup is becoming more slim. And the remove attribute method works pretty much the same way. So you would type in remove attribute there, and you don't need a value. You just have to put one argument in that method. You just put the attribute that you want to remove from that element. So if I run this now, it's going to try to remove an align attribute from my E1 tag. So let's put that in. Align. Let's put align center. So now when I run this, this align center will be removed from that tag. It will not be centered. Now I've also put together a small example that will show you guys how to add and remove attributes during runtime in your scripts. So during the middle of the, some kind of processes that's going on while a user is using your application, you might have to add or remove these things. So you can see the code there. Now let's take a look at it running in the browser. What this does is, you can see I have my regular H2 tag there like I did before, but now I have buttons set in place to where when I click it's going to add the title attribute to that, and then when I click this one it's going to remove the title attribute from it. So right now you can see when I hover my mouse over it, there's no title attribute. So let me click this button, and now I'll hover my mouse over it, and I have a title attribute. You can see it says Adam wrote this when I hover over it. Now let me click remove title attribute. And now when I hover over it, it's gone again. So you see, click, and there it is. Click, and it's gone. Click, there it is. Click, and it's gone. So now let's take a good look at this script again. We have a function apply at, which is short for apply attribute. And then we also have a function called remove at which is short for remove attribute. And these functions, you can see they're taking on custom arguments that I put in place. This one's taking on a target for the ID that we want to affect. It's also taking in a variable called at, which is the attribute that I want to affect for that element. And then the attribute value, which is the value I want to pass to that attribute. And then it's the same kind of script as before. Document.getElementById. We target the element that we want on the page, and we use the setAttribute method upon it. And the same thing goes for the removeAttribute target. But all we need to do is pass two parameters to that, which is the target element and the attribute for that element. The value is not necessary because when you use remove attribute method, you only pass one argument through it, which is the attribute to remove. And now you can see in my buttons, there's an on click event. So in that on click event, when anybody clicks that button, it's going to add to my heading, which is the ID for this H2 tag. It's going to add the attribute of title, and this is the value. Adam wrote this. Then when somebody clicks this button, it's going to run the remove attribute function. It's going to affect the my heading h2 tag here, and it's going to remove the title attribute. And that's pretty much how it works. So that's how you can use set attribute and remove attribute at runtime during your script processes. And we'll talk to you next lesson.